Hey guys, thought I would do a quick bike check video on my new Norco Torrent here. This is the aluminum frame. It's the A2 build, so this is the base, the base build for the Torrent. Uh, it's got, it's a really sharp looking bike. I'm really, really liking it. I've been riding it for about a month, month or so now. I'll make a riding impression video uh, shortly and bring that out as well. But the frame is aluminum, like I said, and it is, it's got similar geometry. When you pull up the charts and look, um, look at the steel versus aluminum there, a tiny bit different, but this is basically the same. Same recipe, still has the, the short 425 mil chainstay. It has the 480 reach on a large frame here and a 64 degree head tube angle, kind of for your main baseline. Geometry spec uh, comes with a 150 mil dropper and I'm about 5'9". I got some long legs, so it looks like I can fit a, a 170, or yeah, 170 dropper on there at least. Uh, also has, uh, comes with the hands down tires. So far I've actually liked them, but more to that in the next video. There is clearance looks like for more tire width up front and actually in the rear as well. So I'll have to look, I think Norco has it on their website, how wide you can actually go or how wide they recommend you to go. Just trying to show you between the stays there on the bottom, a little bit of space there. So I also put an insert in the rear and I've got these orange grips and pedals just to make it, make it my own a bit. Um, comes with the Dior 11 speed, 11 speed. So that's an HG uh, hub the back. It doesn't have the micro spline. 32 front train ring, Dior cranks. Um, up front, we've got just Norco, the Norco bars and the Suntour Xeron fork. Uh, it's a coil fork and yeah, more to that on my riding impression videos as well as the brakes, which is the only question I had. They're the Tektro Orion four pots. So we will see how those pan out. Um, it is a one, 180 mil rotor up front and 180 in the rear. But other than that, saddle is a, just the stock base Norco XC saddle, I think it's called. But yeah, it's a great looking bike. The one thing that the Lurum has over the steel is the cable routing. I know a lot of people aren't fans of the cable routing on the steel frame, but and a lot of people aren't fans of the internal routing, but this has internal, so it does give that nice clean look. Looks like it comes in. Right up here, as you can see, like every other bike, and then it comes down and it pops out. That sounds pretty. The rear hub sounds pretty good. Comes out kind of underneath the underneath here on your bottom bracket, and as you can see, the cable routing kind of shoots off on both sides of the stays. So, um, yeah, no real concerns. It is kind of there's a little lip here too to kind of protect it if you're protect those cables a bit if you smash your your bottom bracket so at least they thought of that overall i think it looks looks like an awesome bike and the spec sheet shows pretty good i, I think it's a pretty good bang for your buck as well as far as uh you know where your money goes and yeah stay tuned like i said for Another video on this bike, I'll give you some riding impressions, how it climbs, how the frame feels, how it descends, and all that fun stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.